Hey everybody, Robbie Pritt. I'm back here with another tip. When it comes to clover, the number one thing you have to look at and you have to do is put a get together a good maintenance program. So you got to get in there and mow these clovers. I get asked a lot, when do you mow them? Do you want to mow these clovers every time you see them flower? When that clover flowers, that means it's mature. It's at its lowest protein rate, least, least uh, palatable, least digestible. You want to get in there and mow these clovers to turn that right back around. You want the highest protein, the highest palatability, the highest digestibility. So you want to get in there and mow them. And with mowing, it also helps with weed and grass control. So even though, let's say that the clover hasn't flowered yet, but you're starting to get some grasses come in, some weeds come in, you think, man, I really don't want to spray that plot yet. Well, get out, get out there with your mower. As long as you're getting plenty of moisture, get out there with that mower, mow that plot down to, to six to eight inches tall and help them, them plants actually outgrow the weeds and grasses that you got coming into your plot. So one thing I like doing when it comes to mowing, I'm always waiting a few days afterwards. I'm hitting it with the trusty clover fuel here, that 0028. Clover only needs potash. So anytime you can give some clover some potash, it will really help them clovers outgrow them weeds and grasses and make the plant healthier, sweeter, higher, higher in the protein level uh, and the more tonnage. So I hope this helps you guys out. We'll talk to you soon.